What is it with people and their obsession with race over video games? This is getting a little bit disturbing at this point. Today we're going to talk about a Fortnite senior programmer, Evan Kennedy, now saying that you can't discriminate against white people. Now, before I get fully into the video, subscribe to the channel. That's, that's all I'm gonna ask here, subscribe to the channel. We've been covering a lot of this from community managers and now senior programmers and just overall generally people in the gaming industry that are just not nice people. These are not good things to see out there in the gaming industry and the idea of it is gross. Fortnite senior developer Evan Kennedy, or Kinney, latest video game employee to claim being racist against white people does not exist. This is getting a little bit out of hand. This is really out of hand actually. When you have company after company after company of employees having this idea that if you happen to have no skin color or white skin color, uh, you're allowed to be talked down upon and discriminated against. This is absolutely disgusting behavior coming out of, out of anybody in any company. Kenny shared his objectively false view on X in response to X user Ubaz1337. You can't be racist against white people in Western in countries. Super simple, a five second Google search shows why and i uh you know this might be skewed for what we have here in canada but it pretty much comes up with a struggle session you you understanding white privilege definitions of racism um racial microaggressions in everyday life in time we will simply disappear why is racism really only an issue in western countries why am I no longer talking to white people about race? Um, and then there was one here that I found a little bit even more discouraging. Whiteness, Smith Sonium Institute. Are you, are you, are, you're you kidding me. They have a whole display in, in this sense. Stop and think, how does being white grant certain privileges? How might white people experience oppression through other social identities? Class, gender, sexual orientation, religion, ability, etc. This is a joke, right? This is a complete and utter farce of people of saying that because your skin color is, happens to be white, you have extra privileges in the world. You don't. Uh, you, you're as equal as everybody else out there. You're a human being. Um, let's see. I also got to say, I recently went to Vegas and one of the things that you see walking the strip is you have people handing out CDs, demo tapes, these things down there. And I generally won't take them. I try to avoid anybody handing them out, but I got called, I, I got called a slur in the middle of uh, Vegas, uh, because I was walking past someone that I didn't care. I turned around, I shook the guy's hand, I said, you know what, no thank you. I just don't want any of it. I don't want your CD, I don't want your demo tape. That was, and I was fine with that. But it was, it, it was absolutely degrading to have that type of experience. And that's where it is now. It was, I was taken back a little bit. I was like, why, why in the world are you using this race baiting stuff to try and sell me your demo or, or something like that. I was like, no, that's not what this is about. That's absolutely disgusting. I, I found it very, very disgusting. You simply, you can't be racist against white people in a Western country. Y yeah, you can, you can discriminate against anybody because discrimination is based on, if you're discriminating against a person, it's based on race, it's based on gender, it's based on all these sub factors. Uh, nowhere in there it says, oh, this uh, white people are excluded from discrimination. Nowhere does it say that. In a follow-up, the user added, this is just racial prejudice, bigotry, but you can't be racist against the majority race. Sorry, not a thing. Okay, so the majority race on Earth, um, is it uh, Chinese or, or uh, India? It, right now, because we're outnumbered? There's 400 million Americans, there's 40 million Canadians, uh, 41 million Canadians now, 
and there's 8 billion people on the planet. So that's just a small chunk of the world. We're all in this together. We're all in this big melting pot of the world. So I don't get how suddenly being a minority in this case uh, it is so much more of a pedestal at that point. Attack Zero Zero responded to his writing, We feel differently. Racist anti-white hate is the most important issue right now. Kenny then replied, Kind of weird to have a thing that doesn't exist as your most important issue. It's now, where is this going? Where, where are all these game companies going? Why is this suddenly the certain message in the video game sphere? A number of hours after claiming that racism against white people does not exist, Kenny would criticize Mark Kern for making an obvious joke about creating a safe space for hot girl gamers. Once again, we're back to the hot girls gamers. This was a joke. This was an absolute joke taken uh, out of context by a lot of people over what happened with the black girls gamers because they, they foster a community that is 10,000 people strong of black women only. If, and you have to be black and you have to be a woman to be part of that community. That segregation is absolutely ridiculous. But Grums made this as a joke because of how we've seen video games, how we've seen the beauty in women completely be removed from video games. And then you sit there and go, well, what is this? It, 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 are we watching a game that is meant for the general video game industry? No, we're watching games that have been injected with a narrative design from places like Sweet Baby Inc. Uh, we're watching these uh, complete flip-flops of characters getting completely ruined because of a design difference that these companies want to do. Kern posted we should start Hot Girl Gamers group to create a safe space for them to express their beauty. They've been shut out of the AAA gaming and marginalized, and it's time they get some love. Who would you nominate for board of directors? Kitty reacted to the accu uh, to this by accusing Kern of harassing his friends and colleagues. He wrote, at this point, I'm kind of convinced that Mark Kern is now a parody of himself just the JFC, what even is this crap? Stop harassing my friends and colleagues, he, he concluded. You know, Mark Kern really did showcase a lot of people over the weekend how talking about how white is suddenly becoming this number one topic in video games. How if you're white, they, they're allowed, then people are allowed to be discriminatory uh, against you. No, they're not. It's absolutely disgusting. I even put up a tweet from what I saw this weekend. If you are a community manager running the public eye for a video game, your jo job to be, to not be an asshole is failing. And that's what's going on here. A lot of these community managers, they, they're injecting their own self-image, their own uh, whatever they want to just de demonstrate people and take them down. It's absolutely disgusting. And these community managers should be holding their head in shame by pushing these narratives. They, they're being discriminatory. They are propping one person up for another and it's absolutely gross. Anyway, I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix Cinder Shadow. I'm signing off here. Have yourselves a great day and I will see you again very soon. <laughs>